pulled up, wait a minute, ow, 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 ow. You already know, like, comment shout out. What is this? Let's get to it. Ow. The first shout out goes to my sister, the one and only Chiso. Was good. Thank you for supporting me. Second goes to the one and only O's. Baby boys, baby girls. Like she is there. She is aware under the comments down below. And y'all already know, okay? I appreciate all your comments. So make sure y'all keep those coming. Like keep them coming. Let's get on with our regular scheduled programming. <laughs> Bounce, west side, make a bounce right now. Right now, north side, make a bounce right now. Right now, middle finger to the eyes right now. N is you down for the cost right now? Right now, dead side, make a bounce right now. Right now, get the money and we out right now. Right now, get the boys that they want right now. On the spot right now, make a bounce right now. Like that. Working, whipping, grinding, no more time. And I guess I should take it slow. What is good, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'll be showing y'all a nice soft glam makeup tutorial i know soft glam has been all the rave lately with everyone doing soft glam looks and basically what soft glam is to me in my understanding is a nice put together look that isn't too glitzy too bam in your face but it's more like a matte like soft look you know what i'm saying does that make sense <laughs> i hope it does <laughs> I'll be showing you how I achieved this nice purple soft glam look. All the products I used except one was drugstore. So y'all already know, if you think the melanin is popping, you know what to do. You gotta keep on watching. So the first product your girl is putting on her face is this Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Okay, yep, I'm putting that all over my lid covering all that up you already know you got to keep it all cohesive brown all around and I love using this powder for the fact that it is very close to my skin tone and just makes such a good transition you know I'm all about saving money and I'm using this face powder as an eyeshadow you know so you know you can use different things for different purposes so next, my loves, I'm going to use my black opal concealer in the color Honey. I'm basically just telling y'all that I'm going to be applying it to my lid, as you can see. So I like to put that on kind of to make like a cut crease type situation, but not exactly because it's not as precise of a concealer to do so. But I just want to make that place closer to my upper lid as light as possible so the color I put on top can really pop and make it look, you know, good like soft glamish you know what i mean and i want that color to be like popping like this lip gloss gotta be popping the same way your eyeshadow gotta be popping y'all i'm using my flat concealer brush and just putting that on and little strokes you know you want to be careful when you're doing this So next, I'm putting on that same deep dark powder I used all over my lid on the outer corners because you know we gotta make it pop. Okay, maybe she's worth it. Maybe it's Maybelline, okay? And I'm using it for that. <laughs> and I'm putting it on my lower eyelid as well on the outer corner. Y'all know I had to pull out the other Fit Me powder and this is in the color medium and I'm just testing it under my eyes. Okay, we're going to bake. We're going to bake while we finish our eyes. Just like that. I had to pull out one of my favorite drugstore eyeshadows and this one is from black radiance and this is their ebony nudes palette and i'm just packing on that purple color onto my lid and yes it looks good right the only thing about these eyeshadows since they're a little bit on the cheaper side you just gotta pack them on quite a bit but once you pack them on to full capacity you won't be slaying honey like <laughs> i'll be looking good okay uh -huh. just keep on watching yes 
is getting better with each take. So what I'm doing right here, right here, is packing that same color onto my lower eyelid, starting from the inner corner, and I'm going out this time to give it some baba voom. I love how this color perfectly matches my background. You see that? I'm color coordinating okay with this, with that, you know. <laughs> Isn't color coordination like beautiful? But now what I'm doing is just brushing out all that powder I had under my eye and adding a little bit more, you know, cause I like a light under eye. I feel like it just does so much for the look, y'all. Don't judge me. Y'all, this foundation stick is life. It is life. Gives me the best contour, so natural. So, uh, makes me look bronze, makes me look Oh, just like chocolatey nice. And this is the black opal foundation stick in the color crab. If I didn't tell you before. <laughs> and I'm just taking my beauty blender and just using that to blend. Yes. Spray it. You got it. Spray it. <laughs> Y'all, I'm something. Anyway, so I'm just blending using the butt of my beauty blender. And you know, you gotta keep it moist. I like to use my fingers as well to do so. And I'm just blending that out. Oh, y'all. It's blending. It's on the wrist, y'all. It's on the wrist. Okay. This low key is a wrist workout. <laughs> baby, when I say, baby, that these lashes changed my life, they have. You can get them. Mikiwi lashes from Amazon. Like, look at that. You gotta fan it out. You gotta make sure those lashes are on the right. They're tight. Yes. All on the wrist. Yeah. Shout out to the Sephora worker that introduced me to this Tarte Tartarus eyeliner. She put me on. It was for the low. It was a pack of three. This and the lashes are two of the products that I got that are not drugstore, but I got them on the low. And as all y'all can see, I'm doing a slight wing. Yes, gotta wing it out. I believe that this eyebrow liner from Wet n Wild is in the color Coco. I do use the eyebrow liner instead of a lip liner because for the fact that it's hard for me to find a brown that's dark enough for my lips that is a lip liner. So this works great. My favorite lip gloss of all time, Rimmel London Stay Glossy. Okay, this is the best clear lip gloss on the planet of planets. Like, yes. Mm, luscious next I'm using the lip lingerie color in the color lip y'all know I do not like using liquid lipsticks on my lips because when it dries down it looks very dry and butt crackish <laughs> like a butt crack <laughs> but now I'm just lining my lips with that same brown to make it go into a nice ombre Last but not least, we have to shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond with highlighter. And this is my favorite highlighter of all time. Well, one of them, Dutch Drugstore. And this is the Black Opal Highlighter Stick. It goes on natural and gives you that nice glam. I'll have the color down below because I can't remember at this moment. <laughs> This is the final look. Look at this fine baby. Ha! Chineke. Give it to them. Yes. How can you vex with a girl looking this luscious? And you cannot vex with a girl serving all these looks. So if you they vex, they vex with yourself. Oh, don't bring your vex over to me. Hey. Waka. <laughs> Waka. 
Now, if you didn't get what I just said, ask y'all Nigeria friends. <laughs> Make sure y'all like this video, comment down below to get featured in my next video, and tap and click the subscribe button down below. Help your girl reach 500 subscribers. Peace, love. Hey, hey, uh, pride's gonna be death to me. Hold up, wait, you know you gotta guard your energy. You can't match my pedigree.